Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today I'm going to show you how to make very simple Oreo pops. They're like cake pops, but made with Oreos instead of cake balls. Really simple, easy to do, simple ingredients. If I can do it, you can do it. Before I move on, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Let's get started. Down below in the description box, you'll find a list of the ingredients and their amounts. So first we want to begin with uh, melting some chocolate. And I have a variety of different types of chocolate that you can use. There's this product called Almond Bark. You can find it like at Walmart. There's this Candy Quick brand, which I really, really like. Um, it's the Log House Candy Quick. And it's a really good one. I use this for cake pops quite a bit. It just melts really thin. Classic candy melts. And I'll put links down below where you can get these. Or you could use, use something like classic chocolate chips. I have some semi-sweet chocolate chips here. And if you're gonna use chocolate chips like this, then you'll probably wanna use some oil. This is just canola oil. You could use vegetable oil as well, or coconut oil, something like that. All right. I am using Mega, mega Stuff Oreos, just because there's a better gap in between the cookie um, for the stick to go into. I have some treat sticks here as well, and I just found these at Walmart, but you can get them online. So we'll get some of these out. And so I'm gonna do a couple different coatings. I'm gonna do a white or like a vanilla coating around some, and then I'm gonna do like a chocolate coating. And the first one that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my chocolate chips here. And so this is two cups of chocolate chips, and I'm gonna add in about a tablespoon of oil to it. And then I will just microwave this on high for about 30 seconds and then stir, 30 seconds stir, 25 seconds stir until it's nice and melted and very runny. Time to melt the chocolate. Once we have the chocolate melted, I'm going to come in here and take some Oreos. See how nice and thick that is? And then I'll take a stick, we'll get some chocolate on it, and we'll stick it right in there. And kind of push down on the Oreo to make sure it stays. And that bit of chocolate on the stick is gonna help act like glue and keep these together. So I'm gonna put this over here on this sheet pan lined with parchment paper. Again, dip in the chocolate, hold on to the Oreo and just push it in about halfway, three quarters of the way. I'm done with the chocolate for now and uh, we'll just set this aside and we can reheat that um, as it cools down. And then in this glass, I think I will do some candy melts. And then I will melt those. This is a microwave safe glass. And then I'm just gonna melt these as well so I can do some white ones. I have the white done and it's really nice and runny. And I'm going to take the stick. And go in there. All right, I have several of them dipped and the stick are in the cookies, the Oreo cookies. Now I'll put this in the fridge for about 10 minutes to let that little bit of chocolate set. All right, now that these have chilled, I'm going to set these aside. I also have this thing of uh, styrofoam. I usually just use this for my cake pops. It already has holes in it, but you can take any piece of styrofoam if you want. It's not necessary. You, once you dip them, you can lay them back on your sheet pan if you want. Okay, and then so I'm going to take uh, this white chocolate again. Looks like it's still nice and runny. I don't need to reheat it. Looks like it's uh, doing pretty well. And then I'll take one of these Oreo pops and then we'll go straight in and out. Got the excess drizzle 
You give it a little tap if you want. But this is pretty good. I'm going to take this and put it in my little styrofoam here. And I'll dip some more. Also, I have the semi-sweet chocolate as well. I'm going to take some of the chocolate ones and dip those. And for this, you can pour this melted chocolate from this bowl into a glass like this. It's a lot easier to dip, or you can just come in here and dip it this way. You have to just tilt it a little bit. It doesn't dip as easy. So that's why I usually will put it in a glass like this. All right, and then also there's a lot of like sprinkles and nuts and things that you can use. So what we could do is I'll take this white one and go in there. Tap off the excess. Okay. Come over here to this little thing. I have this little bowl of, a glass bowl of nuts. And then you can just kind of go like that if you want. And put some nuts on it. And you can come in here with some sprinkles. I have some sprinkles here. And you can put on some sprinkles too, if you want. Again, you don't have to use styrofoam. You could just lay them flat back on here. So I'll show you a couple of those as well. They just wind up having um, the bottom of it. Doesn't look as nice. But after you dip it, you can just put it right back on there. I'm gonna go ahead and dip the rest of these and make some variations. And we'll come back when I'm done. And when you are done dipping them, put them in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes. And when they come out of the fridge, they are ready to go. Another thing you can do is you can put chocolate in like a pastry bag, or you could use like a sandwich bag and just snip off the corner. And then I can come in here and do some designs on those if you want. I could take the ones that I had in the styrofoam, do that side, that side, pretty cool. And then just put those back in the fridge so that outer chocolate design can set up. All right, the Oreo Pops are done and turned out fantastic. Really easy to do, simple ingredients. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care, time for me to dive into one of these. Oh yeah, I mm -mm -mm. think I'm gonna grab one of these from over here. This one, yeah. Mmm.